Hello, it's Roger Bisbee here. Hmm. <laughs> I've, just, I've just finished a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's Roger Bisbee here from the Skill Builder channel, bringing you a vlog from the bog. I've just been talking to a customer and it made me think about a subject which is close to a lot of people's hearts, if you like, and that's rats. They reckon that in the UK you never have more than about 25 feet or 10 feet, whatever you want to go for, go metric if you want, three meters from a rat. And the reason for that is that rats love to inhabit our drains, our sewers. Now, this customer said to me, is it possible for a rat to get up from the sewer through your loo and out into the house? I said, yeah, not only is it possible, I've actually seen it. Now, I went to a job some years ago where the customer had this problem with a rat that could hear it gnawing away. And what it was doing is around the back of the loo, we got a pan connector. And sometimes people use this pan connector called a multi-quick, which was bit of plastic if you like that went onto the back of the loo and joined to the drain now that was kind of translucent it wasn't a completely opaque plastic and if you shine a light through it it was possible to see some light through it now that for a rat is very interesting because when they're around in the sewers they're looking for daylight and if they can find daylight if they find a manhole cover that's open or something like that they're up and away you know they're looking for the the mcdonald's and all the other things that we chuck around in the street that are tasty for them. So they get out of the sewers if they can. So this little bit of translucent plastic, which is behind the loo, when the light was on in the room, the rat could see it and think, okay, I've got to get there. And what it was doing is it was gnawing through the back of the, the loo through the plastic. And you could see the teeth marks on it where it had done it. Now, if it had got out there into the house, it would have been bad, but I've also seen the situation where they actually get around that last bit into the pan. Now, they will never travel underwater unless they can see an escape route. They're very clever in that way. They're very, very good swimmers. They can tread water for around three days and they can get through tiny spaces as well. You've got to remember this, that even though a rat is so big, it can collapse its rib, rib cage. It's kind of got hinges on it and articulated and it collapses it and it can squeeze through the most unlikely holes. So if you've got a hole somewhere where you haven't cemented it up or the builders left it open, it's very, very important that you seal all those holes up and you keep the house secure in that way. But this problem with the loo is basically that if it can see daylight, it will swim. So pretty important to keep the loo seat down. Remember that fellas, when you've finished, pop the loo seat down because that way it can't see any daylight. So if you've got the, the light off in the room and, and, and you've got no obvious way of it getting out, you can't see anything, it's not gonna trouble you. But as I say, that translucent pan connector, anything along those lines, any way that it can see of getting out, it will get out. Now in the, in the sewer, in the drain, if you like, you can get a rat trap, which is a one-way device, which means that all the nasties can go one way, but the rats can't go the other way. They work to a certain extent. They're just like a little flap, if you like, like a door. But when they clog open, which they tend to do, because if there's not a really good flow in the loo, they tend to get stuck open, then the, the rat can get through. And remember, the rat, if it can get its head through, and its head's not that large, if you think about its head in relation to its body, it's not that large, and if it can get its head through a hole, it can get its body through. Even though its body's a lot bigger, it will just squeeze and collapse through that hole, and it's in. So I'm not trying to frighten anybody. All I'm trying to say is, watch out, take those little precautions, don't leave anything around that a rat would obviously like. You know, you get people, I mean, I've got a friend of mine who's plagued with rats at the moment. They're into the cupboards, they're in everywhere. But actually, I've got to say, they're a friend of mine. I'm not going to mention names, but their hygiene standards aren't that great. You don't want to leave rubbish lying around outside the house, which is attractive to them. The other thing, of course, is feeding the birds. Unfortunately, if you feed birds, you're likely to have rats because they love all those little bits of grain and everything that drop off the edge. So there you are, that's my little vlog for this week. I hope you found that useful and interesting. Have a little chat with us below in the comments because I love a little bit of a rat chat. You dirty rat. <laughs>